guys, welcome back to Ash Chubber Fest. Today's video is going to be my take on the Blair Witch. Now I know in the original Blair Witch movie they never show what the Blair Witch looks like and I assume it's a lot creepier than this, but I was really inspired by an artist on Instagram who did these kind of like forest-like eyes and so I saw that and I was like, what could I do with that? And I thought Blair Witch. So I have the little signature Blair Witch. I don't even know what this is. This just like shows up everywhere in the woods. Anyways, if you haven't seen the Blair Witch, go watch it. The second one does show the Blair Witch, but like, that's not my Blair Witch. That's not what I think she would have looked like. They did my girl Blair dirty in the Blair Witch too, so I don't um, acknowledge that that one exists. And I'm gonna assume that she looks like this. This is what I would want her to look like. Maybe not, it's a little too cute for a scary movie, but you get what I mean. I wanted to turn her into a cute Halloween costume, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. This look is surprisingly easy, don't be intimidated by this, it is, it's easy to do. Also, this is very easy to make, I feel like this is the only signature piece that would like give it away what this costume could possibly be. Otherwise, I'm wearing like a t-shirt, well, a long sleeve t-shirt dress and I wrapped twine um, around myself and some burlap around to give my dress some shape, ripped up some tights, and that's it. Before I get into the tutorial and show you guys how to create this look, don't forget to check out the description box where I list everything that you need to know. So all the products that I use in this video, including the costume, and all that will be listed down there. The Ashtoberfest 4 merch, if you haven't checked it out already, you definitely should, it's so cool. And how to enter today's giveaway. If you didn't know, every day that I upload for Ashtoberfest, I'm also doing a huge giveaway, a huge box of all my favorite things going to one of you guys. So be sure to check the description box on how to enter. And let's go ahead and get into this Blair Witch tutorial. All right, so for this look, I have already covered my eyebrows. I showed in another video how to do this, so I will link that down below. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fullest coverage foundation that I have, and that is the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. Now, I used this a long time ago and it broke me out so very bad so I don't use it anymore and I just took a risk <laughs> with this tutorial you could color correct your eyebrows if you wanted to but I'm gonna be covering mine with black liner so I just decided to use a full coverage foundation for concealer I'm using my Tarte shape tape and I'm just gonna go around all the usual places that I add concealer on an everyday look so under my eyes my nose my forehead and my chin I'm also adding a little bit of a lighter concealer to mix in with this one this one is by Natasha Denona, and I'm just gonna blend that out using my Beauty Blender. To set, I'm gonna be using my Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder, and I'm just using this powder puff that I have here, and it does not work out well for me. <laughs> but I went ahead and just patted that all into my skin. I wanted this to be really matte, because I'm gonna be drawing over my face with liner and paint. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the excess powder with a big fluffy brush, and I'm just contouring using my NARS Laguna Bronzer. So I'm going around my forehead. I'm also gonna go around my cheeks as usual, my nose, and a little bit underneath my chin. Zooming you in for a better look of the eyes. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Jet Liner and I'm gonna be putting this all over my eyes. I'm applying this super messy because I'm gonna smoke this out like crazy anyway. So the application right here is not that big of a deal. My Jet Liner is pretty dried out as well. So that's why it's tugging on my skin a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and try and blend that up into my brow. Once I have it blended out, I'm gonna go over with my Natasha Denona Gold Rush Blackest Black Eyeshadow. This just has a little bit of a gold reflect in it. You could just use a matte black shadow. The gold reflect is not necessary. And I'm also gonna line my eyes with a black liner. I'm using my Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Zero. I'm going for a crazy black smoky eye here, so I'm bringing the liner down as far as possible. And then I'm just going to be blending that out with some brushes, and I'm also going to apply that Natasha Denona Blackest Black Eyeshadow. On the inner corner, I'm going to take a gray eyeshadow. Next, I'm just going to be taking my black body paint, and I'm going to draw some forest trees above my eyeshadow and brows. Do not be intimidated by this. It was so, so easy. I thought... It was intimidating at first, but once I went in and actually tried it myself, it was so simple. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want the trees, how tall I want them to be, and going in and adding some more here, some more there, as you can see. And I'm also adding some little dots around just for, I guess, texture. I also decided to draw some kind of like black tears, I guess, coming down my face, 
just to add a little bit more to the look. And I'm just going around and touching up as I go places I think need more texture, need more darkness, and that's what I'm doing on this outer corner here. I'm just taking some water and I'm gonna add to those drips down my face. I wanted to make it look like they were actual drips and not just drawn on tears. So as I let those fall down my face, I'm taking a little paper towel and making sure that they don't go too far down my face. So I'm stopping them right where I want them to be and I can go back in and fill it in more later. Once I have those where I like them, I'm just adding some more texture around the eyes and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a skull-like crack in my nose. I added this last minute. I just thought it made the look feel more Halloween. So I'm just drawing that. I just eyeballed this. You could look up a reference photo of a skull if you want. I'm also just adding a little bit of texture around to make it look kind of rotted. I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara to fill in my lashes. You could totally see my light brown lashes here without mascara. And I'm using the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara for this. And to fill in any space around my eye that still shows some skin, I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. For lashes, I'm using my Rouge and Rogue Nirvana lashes. I do have a discount code if you want to purchase their lashes. The code is just ASH. I always link it down below. To glam this look just a tiny bit, I'm gonna add some of my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Highlighter, the Diamond Bomb, and I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this around my face. This step is not necessary, but I like the way that it looked. For lips, I'm gonna be taking the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bones, and it was actually a little bit more purpley pink than I thought it was when I bought it, so I didn't really like the way that it looked when I blended it out with my finger, so I'm gonna go ahead in line with my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Stone. And I started out just lightly lining with this, but I ended up pretty much filling it all the way in. And then I went back in with Bones from Black Moon and just tapped it out over the top to kind of blend it in. That's it for the makeup, so I'm gonna apply my wig. I'm just adding my wig cap here, and I'm using a wig from the brand Wig Is Fashion. I have it all linked down below. This wig was very big for my head, so it took a little bit of finessing to get it to fit right. But that's it, so let's go ahead and get into the costume. So originally I had a whole plan on using an old t-shirt and dyeing it with coffee like I've done before in DIYs and ripping it up and making a dress out of it, but I lost that t-shirt that I had already filmed the whole DIY with and I could not find it. I don't know if it got thrown out, who knows? But anyways, I ended up finding this shirt at Urban Outfitters in the men's section that I thought would be a cute dress. So since Blair Witch doesn't have an actual costume, I could pretty much do whatever I wanted and glam this up a little bit. So I ripped up some old tights that I had that had some runs in them. I just took my fingers and literally ripped them all over. And I'm just pairing this with my Doc Martin Trayvana boots. And I thought this look was so cute. Not that the Blair Witch is supposed to be cute, but whatever. I did end up making the little Blair Witch logo. I don't know if it's a logo or what it is, but I made it as a necklace. Out of some branches I picked off a wreath I have from Michaels for fall and I just used a hot glue gun and tied some twine around it. It took five minutes, it was the easiest thing I've ever done. And I decided to just wear it as a necklace, that way it kind of had more of a Blair Witch feel to it. And I wanted to give this dress a little bit more shape because I'm smallest in my waist. So I thought it'd be cute to take some burlap fabric and tie that around my waist. I just got this at Michaels. And I'm also taking some twine and I'm gonna wrap that around my waist as well and around my arms. I just decided to do this because it gave more dimension to the costume and it was kind of like a woodsy feel, I guess. And I thought it turned out really cute. And that's pretty much it for the costume that I put together. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it serves as some inspiration for a costume of your own. And that is pretty much it. And I noticed after I was editing this video that I did not record an outro for this one. So this is gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me there. I also am on Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. You and Zor take it on tour, damn. We the only ones, we the only ones, we the only ones. Everything I try back for sounds like Tommy guns. Everybody up inside their feelings like they want some, but I don't really